Hey guys, Binge here. Uh, just doing a demonstration video to show you guys how you can get Tesla style function with Vortex form. And uh, it's nothing too special, it's nothing new, it's just kind of cool. This is the primary. It is a 26 conduit silver plated uh, copper wire with uh, enamel and gold coloring in the, in the enamel. Um, that's the primary. It's wrapped in vortex form, uh, vortex spiral form. This is my um, secondary. We have 28 gauge, uh, and it's you know this this light's about 18 inches, so you know it's about 16 inches. For the top load aspect of this Tesla coil. I have a um, PoE Vortex coil uh, and um, this one's a little different in that it is wrapped with eight inner rings and nine cutouts and then it's 36 uh, wires of, of uh, 22 gauge and uh, that's acting as the top load. Here how the system works is you have a DC power supply, positive lead, goes down to primary, one side of my primary, through the coil, out to the ground of my primary, which is loosely connected. So you just kind of, you don't solder anything, you just loosely connect the secondary in. Up um, the secondary to a uh, gator clip to the vortex coil. This grounds into the MOSFET. This is on a large heat sink. This is a Fairchild MOSFET. I'll put the which one it is um, on the video description. And uh, yeah, so the energy comes out, goes to the drain, into the source, to the negative ground of my DC power supply. This is being driven by this frequency generator, and it only goes up to 200K. Um, and yeah, there's no gate driving chips or anything involved right now. It's just going straight to the gate, pulsing it. I have this oscilloscope set up here um, with a little uh, with a little antenna on it. It's uh, it's just it's not grounded or anything. You can see the hookups there. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna fire this up. Show you. It's at resonance. Got some nice wireless. Right now the system's pulling about oh, 13 watts. I can pump a lot more, but I have a tendency of uh, blowing up transistors. And it works pretty good right now. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit for the demonstration. That's about as high as I want to go with it. But yeah, so here's some wireless. It's about two feet. It's still lit. Not brightly, but it's a pretty steady field. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but if maybe it will. Um, there's cool standing wave action going on in there. I, I just think that's cool. So, yeah, it's nothing too fancy, it's nothing new, it's just a different way of doing something that exists. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, that's about it. There we go. Boom. Hey guys, uh, just doing a shot here to show um, what the waveforms look like at different resonances. So here is a lower resonant, not quite as efficient. It is in about 142 kilohertz. And here is um, the best one I can achieve. This frequency generator only goes to 200k. And uh, 
that's a whole other story. But uh, yeah, and here's the the best resonance I can achieve with this system. That's what the wave, waveform looks like. Just thought you might want to see that.